If I had a penny for every time somebody made a series their personality, I'd have a million pennies. Shout out the homie Yato plays. Something I wanted to talk about today was a relatively simple one, and it's about a series that I was mad hyped for, and it's actually turning out to be pretty fucking cool. And that is Ichi the Witch. Recently, it was announced that Ichi was the lead page in this upcoming volume of Shonen Jump, and it gave me one of the most satisfying grins I've had in about a week. Because as y'all know, Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi was recommended by Oda last week, and that was one of the other series I was sure would do pretty well in Jump Magazine. So seeing all the love that Ichi the Witch is getting is just icing on the mother cake. But some of y'all may be wondering, why is Ichi the Witch getting so popular? Before we do all of that, y'all already know what time it is, man. I'm Damo Senpai, and Today we're going to be talking about Ichi the Witch. Not sure where the fuck I'm going with this Ichi the Witch video, but I'm just going to talk about it because why not? If y'all are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, man, make sure y'all go down below, hit that big ass red subscribe button. Y'all already know, man, it has been a wonderful ride doing this 28 days of Damo Senpai thing. It's really fun. Putting out quality at a quantity clip is really, really, really dope. And it's making me feel way better about doing this type of thing in the future, about like continuing 28 days of Damo Senpai instead of making it like a event. If we make it all the way through, I'll just drop videos every day. Not that hard. I mean, it's hard, but not that hard. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to get that out of the way. And now let's get into the video. So back to my question before, you know, I started going on that spiel. Why is Ichi the Witch getting so popular, right? Why? Well, first, let's dig into who's behind it. First and foremost, the story is being written by one Osamu Nishi, who is one of the more beloved mangaka in the game. Nishi, by the way, is the mangaka behind Welcome to Demon School Itamaku. It's a manga and anime that I've seen so many people talk about on the timeline and how much they love it and the character dynamics and just characters in general, right? But that's not it. That's not it. Y'all gotta remember, this is a duo. This is a duo. The art is being done by somebody by the name, I I'm pretty sure y'all gonna know who this is, Shiro Uzaki, who was the artist for a manga that had a really great art direction known as Act Age. Unfortunately, her talents were wasted on that manga because the mangaka himself was a huge piece of shit. Them two coming together was one of the biggest team ups as far as manga goes to date, aside from Oshinoko, but I will refrain from giving my full opinion on that manga. Anyway, with the two of them coming together, they created one of the more beautifully refined worlds as far as current manga goes. Ichi the Witch is a story that is centered around the young homie Ichi, who was abandoned on a mountain near a small village and grew up to hunt. Yo, as I was saying that, right? Like, as I'm thinking that shit, it reminded me of the Courage the Cowardly Dog intro. That whole... Anyway, I digress. As time went on, he refined his craft to the point that you could consider him one with nature, being able to understand and break down killing intent. But there was something that caught his attention, something far within the mountain range that was worthy of his skill to hunt. That was known as King Uroro, a magic who refused to allow witches to acquire him, specifically women. And I'll get into that in a little bit. He was a magic that hated humanity. As he and Descars duke it out, Ichi finds that to be the right opportunity to use his hunting skills and bring down one of the most notorious magic in the world. Thus, granting him abilities that were only meant for women up until that point. Ichi became the exception to the rule, and in becoming the exception, Descars took him to the capital to be interviewed by all the top witches in the association. Ichi, now freed from the mountain, along with Uraro and Descaris, is now able to fulfill his desire for hunting being stronger than he is while still adhering to the witches association. So what makes any of this interesting? Well, pretty much all of it, if you want me to be honest. First and foremost, y'all know me, bro. Y'all know that when there's any good waifus in attendance, I kneel. And Descaris is like a cream of the crop 
premium waifu. So that was already a go for me. I was already sold. But what was even more fascinating to me was the premise. In this world, only women are able to wield magic, forming the backbone of a society where power and influence rest predominantly in female hands. Obviously, right? This setup alone would intrigue most readers. But the twist that makes this story shine is Ichi himself, the kid who became the exception to the rule. His existence challenges the status quo and raises the stakes for everyone around him. And it's not just Ichi that makes the story compelling. Should I use interesting or compelling? I like interesting because that's like one of my like keywords that I use in all of my scripts that I write. But I'm gonna go with compelling for this one. The supporting cast is filled with strong and nuanced characters who bring their own perspectives and motivations, right? I really love the pairing of Ichi, Urodo, Descaris, and the latest addition, Kumugi, who they met on the way to the association. I think their dynamic is one that can last the entirety of the series without overusing it or the worst getting born because y'all know that happens a lot there will be a i use the word stick but there'll be a gag that they use and they overly use it to the point where it's like oh my god bro just get on with the fucking story already y'all know how that goes from powerful witches who feel threatened by Ichi just, you know, simply existing, to allies who see him as a harbinger of change. I took that from Final Fantasy, by the way, because y'all know they called Sephiroth the harbinger of fate. Was it the harbinger of fate? Something like that. Harbinger of death? Something like that. I forgot. Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite video games. It's actually my favorite video game of all time. The game that I think is the greatest video game of all time. And that's never going to change. Unless your name is Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth and whatever the third game is going to be but i digress each character adds complexity to the plot this intricate ass world building where societal norms are questioned and unique alliances are made keeps readers hooked as fuck as they dive deeper into the story and one of the things that i don't want people to overlook as they read it is the art and its style right shiro uzaki's art style was always one of my favorites and the fact that she gets to show off her artistic prowess in a magical setting really brings a smile to my face bro it really does the contrast between dark and moody scenes the bright and comedic aspects of team Descaris, and the burst of mystical energy takes this story to a whole new fucking level and I say this about Gachi Akata as well, right? Like the art is not just a decoration. It's not. It really plays a pivotal role in the storytelling. It brings the story to life, as one would say, right? The character expressions that you can't just use text to describe. The capital with just one look at it tells you a lot about the world itself, you know? It all helps add so much flavor to Ichi the Witch. Enough to spark a lot of conversation on social media. So many people, myself included, have come to love Ichi the Witch. The idea of a male protagonist with witch powers in a story where that is seemingly taboo has created tons of debates, theories, and fan art. It's a manga that doesn't it just entertain you it invites you to think and engage with others about it i mean that's like manga in a nutshell but this one in particular to wrap this shit up bro ichi the witch has captivated readers with its unique protag interesting world concept and fun things it's a story that takes familiar elements and turns them on their head creating something that is an immediately refreshing experience if you haven't picked it up yet you're definitely missing out on one of the better manga experiences to release this year Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for this video. If you're a fan of Ichi the Witch or just manga in general, make sure y'all stick around because with the 28 days of Damo Senpai going on, who knows what other manga will get talked about on this channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. This was an on the spot video that really helped get my brain moving when I woke up, not gonna lie. I really like this challenge because it's forcing me to create amazing content at an insane clip. The most interesting part about it, I don't feel burned out, right? I don't feel burnt out at all. I actually feel more refreshed being able to express my opinion on manga and things of the like more and more each day. It helps alleviate this anxiety that I have and really gets the needle moving. Anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I'm gonna get out of here and edit this shit and hopefully have it up by tonight. Y'all have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever y'all are. I'm Damo Senpai, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.